Alright, hey, what's up, guys? It's Darren again, and I'm going to show you this time how to make a first person muzzle flash. So, with first person, it's it's not really that difficult. It's actually pretty easy. Here, you can see it looks like Call of Duty style. So, hold on. Okay, right about there. Let me just zoom out a little bit using this up here. Okay, there we go. So what you can do from here is you can just watch and go throughout the frames and select exactly where you want the muzzle flash to come in at. And make sure the muzzle flash isn't a side angle muzzle flash. It's like, uh, let's see, kind of a, look as if it's shooting straight at you. We need one of those. So right here is where I start my recoil. Okay, I choose this frame right here is where the action is going to start. So I go to media up in this area and go to the yellow folder that says import media once highlighted. Click it and find your stock footage or image that you have. I would I, I usually end up using stock footage because it looks way better and it's actually real stuff, like it's legit stuff. So I'm going to go to my Action Essentials pack and hit Muzzle Flashes. If you don't have it, it's fine. You can just go to Google. I'll actually show you right now they have Muzzle Flashes there. So, you can go to, like, Muzzle Flash. And they actually have a first person, like this, exactly like that. Go to Images, and they have all of these that you can choose from. They're pretty good, except for that. And that, my friends, sucks. So... So you can just choose any of these and do the exact same thing I'm about to do with this video. So I'm just going to choose muzzle flash, uh, straight. Okay. And I, nope, that's, uh, fully automatic. Sorry. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. So now once I have this, I'm going to drag it into the film. And I'm going to have to scale that a little bit. About there is right. Okay. Now, what I want to do first, just to make this easier, I'm going to mask this first. I'm going to go mask, freehand, so you can actually see the gun without putting the muzzle flash in front of it. You're going to mask the muzzle flash, not the original footage. And just move the muzzle flash aside so you can trace the gun well. Okay, so you're first just going to mask it and go around the entire structure of it. I'm gonna let you know something. It's it's really hard to do blowback effects. If like if you don't have a gas gun, it is really hard to do blowback um and at this angle. So I would just suggest getting a gas gun if you wanted to do the blowback stuff. That's that's just me. I mean that's what I do. But if you're that skilled that you can like animate blowback coming out this way, then you're pretty good. And I should be watching your tutorials, but Oh uh, gosh, I've been trying to do that and it's so hard. Once I figure it out, I will post a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so once you have this mask completely, you would hit smooth points. Not fully, okay? Not fully, but just like about halfway seems decent. And then hit animate. After you do that, you're going to hit feather about this much. You want to feather it depending on how much the muzzle flash I mean, how much light the muzzle flash brings in, so... Oh, I did a big mistake. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I gotta go back to mask. Draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, open. 
or delete. I don't have to trace your entire hand actually. So, um, I have to go all the way down here and just keep going and going and going. And it's going to take a while. Okay, the only reason I'm just cutting outside the the um, frame is because that's not going to be showing. The muscle flash isn't going to reach my entire arm. So I'm just taking a shortcut. Okay, so now I'll be done as soon as I trace this. And why isn't that connecting? Oh, okay. That's not weird. Seriously, what the heck? Okay, now once you have this, you're gonna pretty much smooth it a little more actually. Now hit animate. Bring the muzzle flash in by hitting animation on the frame or the uh, figure. And now you see this sketchy looking thing. And it doesn't, I mean, it looks pretty decent, but what you want to do now, after you have this muzzle flash in, is you're going to hit, you're going to go back to mask and hit feather. Now you can see it's starting to look more like the light is starting to take over the frame. Well, if you feather it too much, it's going to look like that, which is actually pretty good. That looks more realistic, but uh, I'm just going to have mine like right here. I'm gonna go to grade object to grade for this muzzle flash and go to contrast pro white point just bring that up a little bit so it looks like that that looks more reasonable and I'm gonna go back to the frame and see how that looks yeah so there we go now now I'm just gonna test it and see how that looks Sorry if my frame rate's slow. I'm using fast dome capture. It's pretty high quality, but the frame rate is pretty slow. Okay, that is nice. Now it has no environmental glow yet, so what you want to do is go to effects, great object. And you're going to go to Contrast Pro again. And this time you're just gonna take white point at the very bottom and like Bring it halfway, not halfway, that's too much. About that much is good. And the next frame, let's bring it down a little bit. Okay. And it should look really good then. Okay. Alright, so that's how you do first hand muzzle flashes. It's just really the matter of which angle you're shooting at and how well you can mask. Now, this is, that's pretty much how you do it. That's how it should look when it's done. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'll answer them within a day. Well, yeah, because I get on YouTube that much. Haha, ha, no life, whatever. But, um, yeah, so this is how you do it. Thanks for watching, and I guess I will see you guys later.